Hi, I'm Jeremy from the Epson Pike Library. Today I'm going to tell you about a fantastic reimagining of an otherwise forgettable comic book character from the 90s. <laughs> I started reading comic books in 1991 after getting hooked on a series of trading cards featuring characters from Marvel Comics. At the time, the X-Men were the biggest thing going, and not far behind them was X-Force. You might remember X-Force from a Levi's Jeans commercial featuring the team's creator, Rob Liefeld, hanging out with a director, maybe you've heard of him, Spike Lee. Now let's talk about Liefeld for a moment. He's much maligned these days because he drew pouches on all of his characters' clothing. He sort of cast off normal human proportions, and everything he drew had all these hash marks and gnash teeth and big guns and muscles. He was super popular, and X-Force number one sold five million copies, which dwarfs everything sold on the shelves today probably combined. Please do not check my figures on that. Eventually, Liefeld left Marvel Comics to help found Image Comics. Image was a completely independent company, and its popularity was fueled by its superstar stable of all-male artists, Rob Liefeld, Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, Eric Larson, and Jim Valentino. No girls? They were all-male. <laughs> I said all-male back here a few sentences ago. There were no ladies at the founding of Image. However, today, it is a haven for creator diversity. Liefeld's book Youngblood was a huge hit, so he opened his sketchbook and spewed forth characters onto the comic book shelves, and among these was Prophet. Prophet first appeared in Youngblood number two. He was a man out of time, a World War II Captain America style riff uh, guy experimented upon by a time-traveling scientist to gain powers and muscles. You see these old Prophet comics in bargain bins all the time. The art was farmed out to Liefeld's stable of artists in his studio, and each one was sort of a watered-down version of the next. They were all playing telephone with a normal human anatomy and the rules of decent storytelling. And all the characters were posed really cool, and there was blood dripping off of everything, and again, muscles, everyone with the muscles. And about the mid-90s, Prophet went away to that faraway land where bad comics go to die. But the character and the comic was resurrected in 2012. This time, Liefeld recruited some interesting artists, Brandon Graham, Simon Roy, Pharrell Dalrymple, and Giannis Milono Giannis, and he gave them free reign to reimagine the characters. Now, the long arc of this series is the renewal of the long dormant Earth Empire, and the book's three volumes, Remission, Brothers, and Empire, sort of details Prophet's awakening, uh, his gathering of his forces, and battles on all kinds of weird, weird planets. There's very little dialogue in the first volume, and it has the kind of old-school narration that you don't see in most contemporary comics. There are organic machines and teeth everywhere, and magic mucus, and fleshy folds on spaceships, and it's kind of a mixture of Alien and Dune and maybe a little Star Wars and other weird science fiction movies that you have seen or want to see. But it's gross and epic and weird and lots and lots of fun. And at times it reads kind of like a broken down version of Flash Gordon with the same kind of propulsive storytelling of that old comic strip. Everything's always on to the next adventure, but it takes place in this weird used future filled with biomechanical ooze and sentient weapons and machinery that is long since past its due date. Other Liefeld characters like Youngblood's Die Hard and a guy named Troll appear, uh, but it's not a nostalgia fest. Uh, there, things get a little confusing at times because there are all these prophet clones and they're scattered across the galaxy and some of them have tails and some of them are women and some of them aren't anything resembling a human. Now I've never read the old prophet series so I don't know how it lines up with this current series but I don't think that that matters much or if at all. Um, this has Liefeld's stamp of approval on it and it is weird, really weird 
And for a guy who is kind of dismissed as a hack, it kind of makes you reassess him because he took a chance on this with something that he created and he let it out there and it's really cool. So be sure to check out volumes one, two, and three of Profit at your library and be sure to check us out on the old internet with your Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and your AOL startup disks that you have stored away in your grandma's closet. Be sure to check us out on the internet, whether you got your Facebooks and your Twitter and your Instagram and your Pinterest, and you got these BBS boards and IRCs, and you got your AOL startup disks that you shine the light into and the little rainbow lasers come out and then they match up to another rainbow laser and then everyone's rainbow lasers come together and we can all live as one. <laughs>